What's up guys? Welcome back with another channel and today is going to be a car. I mean car another video. Oh god, god, you need me. <laughs> <laughs> another channel. What's up guys? Welcome back with another channel. Um, and today's channel is going to be uh, me and Christopher eating Mr. Three's um, Right, Mr. Threes? Mr. P. Mr. Threes, whatever. I'm going to be eating crab legs and all that good stuff in the car. Um, so I think this would be a good idea. We try and like pretty much talk and conversations and see what's going on. So as you can see, my guest is Christopher. So we're going to be, um, we're actually on our way, I'm sorry. We're actually on our way to Mr. Threes right now. And we're about to um, go get the crab legs and butter and all that good stuff. So stay with us. All right, guys. So we back or whatever. Um, I should show you all the we got the food. So me and Chris we got our food here. Boom, bam. And he already started eating. He wasn't supposed to. We supposed to wait. So uh, grace the food. Amen. <laughs> all of that. So what's been going on? Eating. <laughs> I don't know. Now you wanted to do this video now. I know. So you you got you got to be uh nothing. Just been sitting home, um, relaxing. Where they put a sausage in there. Mm. Y'all, y'all gotta check out this plate. This these, these crabs from Mr. C's. So I thought it was Mr. Three. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm Mr. Three. I'm so sorry. Mm. So he ain't gonna want to do business with you no more. <laughs> you said Mr. P's, Mr. C's. I'm so sorry. So yeah, it was Christopher's idea to to go here, to, um, today whatever, and I was like, okay, cool, we, we can go. So we got some crab legs, whatever, and y'all been asking me to do another video, so Christopher asked me this little video. Uh, is this it? So um, I know y'all seen like Christopher in my videos here and there, whatever. He don't really say much, but this time he gonna he gonna be talking. So um, tell the folks about you. And all of that, how we met, and where the case may be. Lift. And then I became <clears throat> Lynn's personal driver. I was getting tired of fucking doing <laughs> <laughs> So I met Christopher doing Lyft. You know, he was driving, I, I don't know, I can't remember exactly where I was going, but. I think he was going a late night get down. I probably had me a little rendezvous. Mm -hmm. I think I did. Because it was like two in the morning. Ain't he got in the car and said, wait a minute. I know this motherfucker. I'm like, Lynn? No. Yeah, he, Christopher did that, yeah. I, after he got ready to drop me off, he was like, don't I know you? And was it, you got to drop me off No, I was talking to the whole car ride, remember? Mm-hmm. And I, I, we were joking around. And then you said something about, you are like, we got to do a video together. Because I was talking about, I was like, I want to do videos. And you were like, yeah, we should do a video together. So you you were like, follow me on Instagram. So I, like, uh -uh, we, I didn't think about doing no damn videos mm -hmm. together. Oh, you did. Uh-uh, because I didn't know you like that. No, because I was like, I think you had thought that I did videos. Uh huh. And I was like, we should do a video. And you were like, yeah, we got to do a video. And then uh, you were like, here, follow me on Instagram. So I follow, and then you follow me back and you're like, here, take my number. I was like, all right. I was when you said, no, ain't you the person, ain't you the guy that's on? I did, but remember when we were, t we were making jokes the whole time in the car? Mm hmm. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I want to do a video. And you were like, yeah, yeah, we should do a video together. But he didn't, because he, he ended up taking me to goddamn sushi. We not eating sushi the next day, like literally the next day. Like we just met. We just met. Literally the next day. We gonna eat sushi. Well, because I go there every weekend. I was like, I always go there every weekend. I was like, hey, you wanna go get some sushi? I'm about to go get some sushi. Now in my head, I thought it was a date. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's so nice. <laughs> I feel special. I know, everybody thought, everybody thought we were dating or something. No. They did. A lot of people thought we were dating, but actually not dating. Me and Chris were like really, we were like family. We're really, really good friends. So yeah, basically, family by the time. I don't want so, this. This is making me sick. We don't saw like we don't basically saw our ins and outs being around each other. So, and at this point, we just like basically used to each other, whatever. But you, you was from you was from you from Jersey, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You're from Jersey. Mm -hmm. Yes, New Jersey. Okay. I have, I, have, I still haven't been, been up there yet. It's good. So, but yeah, I'm telling you, when I first met Christopher, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the boy was kind of weird and crazy. I'm like, he's, look, I think I think the boy's crazy. Because he was like very nonchalant, you know, not social. He's not a social person. Not. And that's that's what I had to learn about 
Hell, he's not such a person. I don't drink, I don't party, I don't smoke. So, I know that I used to bite him to go places. He's like, I go, but I don't want to go to the point. I'm like, what's the point of you going then if you ain't going to socialize? But that's just him. So, that's something I couldn't change. So, I just said, like, look. You think Mooney's going to watch this? Mooney! Hey, Mooney. Bag. I'm pretty sure. Or whatever. Because, speaking of Mooney, we actually met Mooney at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. Same time. Yep, same time. Um, Mooney's like family, too. Chris didn't know Chris didn't know nothing about Mooney at all. Mm -hmm. At all. I, think I ain't gonna lie, Mooney, I never heard of you. <laughs> until we got into Atlanta? Mm hmm That's isn't that crazy? Yeah. Until we got into Atlanta. But it makes it so crazy because you would think Chris would knew Mooney when they saw each other because like it was just so natural, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like a natural vibe or whatever. Mooney's whole family's like that. You walk in Mooney's house and you felt like you you, you are them, you know, you felt yeah. like you're their family. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Very southern hospitality. Yeah. Um, everybody's great. Like you, you, you gotta love. Family. You gotta, you gotta love Mooney. So Mooney, if you see this, just know we love you. Bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what a man look. Bad. <coughs> I'm choking. Damn, damn. Okay, so and another thing, or whatever. Um, Chris, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, I mean, he knew I was famous, but he didn't know I knew a lot of people. And there were certain people he wanted to see and meet. And yeah, you know, if you, if you my friend, you around me, of course you're going to meet Thank you. all my, <laughs> my celebrity friends. <laughs> and I thought he was a groupie cloud chase. I'm like, this boy, I, I think he's around me. Yeah, but, but when I'm around him, I'm just quiet. I don't know. I, I did. I, I seriously thought that. I thought, because here, I see he, He's, he's a cloud chaser. But no, that just, that's just how he was. Chris was just, he was weird to me in the beginning. I had to really try to. Everybody thinks I'm weird. I had to really. People ask me, you know what's funny? People go, you don't smoke? <clears throat> no. You're weird. How am I weird? I had to really study you. Like, study you. Like, learn, you know. I thought he had anger issues, road issues. I had to really study him. Like, okay, this is just him. It's not me. This is him. It's just what he is. So. But I just like hanging out with people. I don't like partying, but I like hanging out with people. So look, one day, now I did, I'm not gonna say I named him, but I kinda, look, I kinda felt like I did a little bit. So when Madison, Madison right, came to came to Charlotte to visit, um, check out, I think, and Christopher had wanted to meet Madison. When I tell you, Christopher was shy like bricks, red as a, as a, as a doorknob, red, blushing. Now his cheeks are already naturally red, but they got redder because he was so nervous to meet with Miss Mad Madison. Madison. And when he met Madison, that was a wrap. It was a wrap. But we've been friends for like, what's how many years going on now? What's going on? Oh, two. two years now, yeah. So, yeah. So. Oh, and Miss Mary's cooking. Mm. Oh, Miss Mary got. Ooh. Mm. Everybody loves Miss Mary mm. cooking. Miss Mary. Got, remember last time you went there without me? He said, bring me back a plate. I did? Mm mm. I won't, I won't out you? Mm-hmm. And you didn't bring me back a plate. Oh, what? You said, Miss Mary made banana pudding. I was like, why did I go by my tail? That was when, um, I don't know, who you Oh, you went where your friend got left you, remember? And they left you down there. Oh, yeah. I told you, I said, that's why I'm the number one driver. Yeah. Every time you go down there, I'm like, come on. It was gay pride. I'm like, we got to go here. We got to go here. Come on, you got, you're on time limit. It was gay pride that week. It so was. Uh-huh. It was pride. But you wouldn't be able to handle all that though. That was too much for me. Because I had to go through so many things and mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to handle all that. Mm -hmm. Going to the park while the games and stuff. <laughs> That's too much extra. I mean, I'd like Christopher would deal with, he would deal with some of it. I'd deal with he, it to an extent, but once you start doing all that extra stuff and you gotta be touching me and, and, and all that kind Ooh. of stuff, leave me alone, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just a respect thing, That's how. It really is. I have no, I have no problem with anybody, but when when you when you do something that makes somebody, when I, I, I guess it's disrespectful, you know, it's well, a personal space, you know. That's how I feel. People walk if up you don't on respect me. me, I'm not going to respect you. That's how people when people walk up on me Simple. and just grab me. Yeah, and then people go me, they're like, oh, you you just you uh you don't you don't know. Or so. It's like no, I know you're just being rude. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are you to come up there and touch me? 
Excuse me? I agree. I definitely agree on that because it aggravates me. People walk up with me and just grab me out of Man. nowhere. Like and I'm like, yesterday at the mall. I got chased in the mall yesterday. Literally got chased in the mall. You know, like I don't mind taking pictures with everybody, but just don't grab me like I'm some type of rag dog or, you know, I, I have to take a picture because I don't. I really don't have to. I don't mind, but respect my space. So, anytime I take a moment, I have somebody with me, I take advantage of that. The security, honey. I'm like, ooh, this is like a messy. Uh, you got crab juice on my dashboard. It's okay, don't clean it. I mean, you chose to do this. Did nobody tell you to get butter now? No, I couldn't got butter, but. I got butter free. I don't like butter. So, do you have anything that's coming up? Where people can find you? Um, Snapchat. That's all you got? Instagram, but I don't use it. Your name is called, it's called Snapchat? What, my Snapchat name? <laughs> uh, C Flores, C F L O R E S, 32097. And when you go on Snapchat, don't expect to be entertained. No. Not that much, because. Listen, some, I mean, I, hate, I feel mean doing it. Like, I have like hundreds. He has only fan. No, I don't. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> People are weird. Ah, Fucking screen. But go ahead, shit. yeah. Back to what you said. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have like hundreds of unopened snaps. I'm, sometimes I end up hitting it by accident. Uh -huh. And I do, I feel bad. Like, I feel like a piece of shit leaving somebody unopened. So sometimes I'm really? like, sometimes, they, yeah, sometimes they comment and they're like, oh, you look great today. I'm just like, thank you, you know. And then they, they want to mm -hmm. make a whole new conversation. Like, look, I, I'm not, not to be an ass. I don't want to conversate. But that's when, you, that's when you open the door. I don't want nothing if, to do with it. If somebody say, hey, you respond to it, that's open the door. I know, I do by accident. I just, sometimes I hit the snap by accident and then I'm like, shit. But, and sometimes I get some really fucking weird ones. Oh, man. I get the Remember weird. that lady you had pulling her private, some lady was pulling her private. Pulling her private bar. I'm like, oh my God. I had somebody send me one and she stuck a hairbrush up her twat and sent it to me. Like, Why do people send them weird? Why, why do you think people do that? Not just because being weird, but why do you think people do that? Because it's like just what, fucking what, attention or yeah, it's attention. Definitely, all the way. Because I get the weirdest DMs and with you people. You remember that though? The lady was pulling her pulling out privacy. Yeah. I was like, look at this, ripping her shit apart. Oh, that was all crazy. Monday out right now. It's been a um a messy day. This is like very very messy. I should have got all this butter though. That's what you got. I told you that butter. I but it's okay. Because I have something to eat later on or whatever. Butter does not make it better. Well, as y'all see, it's getting messy. We'll go ahead and wrap this on up. We're only 12 minutes in. Oh, we do? Oh, we, oh, we can keep going. We got like another two, three minutes at least. We can keep going. All right. I'll edit that part out. <clears throat> or just keep it. Or whatever. And what do you think about this whole coronavirus? Okay. Well, I think about corona. Um... It's just a reset on the government. The economy. Yeah, they don't sure what the hell I made some money doing it on E-Trade. It's a reset of what's going on, you know. I mean, listen. I've already been educated about being awoke and all that kind of stuff. And then when you came around and showed show me that lady, <clears throat> I got more awoke, you know. But it's just a reset on life, you know. Even though it's going to be weird. So, moving on. Okay, so what do you think about the pandemic? Um, I don't, I don't pay no attention to it. You know me. Yeah, whatever you pay attention to comes into your life. So I pay no attention to it. I went to Florida. I was out every day, out and about. I was around people that had it. And then I had to get tested the other day. And guess what? I don't have it. So it makes sense to that. It's what you, what you think about. No, what, 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 what you... Is what you think about? Yeah, what, what you believe, what you think about the most becomes you, a part of your reality. You put more attention onto it, it draws into you, you know? I put no attention on it. It, right. it doesn't matter to me, you know? I don't, you know? Oh, yeah, one thing about Christopher Yahweh right now is... Oh, damn, how old are you getting Christopher? 23. 23. 23 and in the stock market. Now, a lot of kids at his age are not in the stock market. Is I'm saying that right? Uh, just something like that, yeah. Something like that, whatever. But... 
no, I don't sell Forex memberships or anything. I, I do my own thing. I don't tell people what to do. I just tell people, go read about it. Go learn about it. I don't want And get into money. it. I don't want your money. Go learn and about it. And this started in Jersey, right? Mm-mm. That's right down here? Mm-hmm. When you moved out here? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, yeah. But I remember you telling this story. A lot of people say, no, don't do it, don't do it. But, you know, he took a chance and life is pretty good for him. That's all I can say. He's a uh, white girl, Becky. What's, what's, what's the name you used to say? Christina. Christina. <laughs> she, the spirit must have heard that. Honey, Miss Christina must have heard that. Uh, I'm, I'm boring on these things. I, I think know. it's just because we're in the car and it's hot. That too, but... I got the air on, it's hot. Oh, you have a whole lot to say, but... You know, maybe, maybe y'all can tell us some stuff to say, whatever. On these videos. They ain't gonna say nothing but... I think, we, I think when we have, like, another part, a person in here... It's kind of good, kind of good. We still one with Moon. But this is, this is our actual first video we've done together. You know, just seeing yeah, talking. Yeah, I hate the camera. He really does, like, this is... Yeah, this is actually the first one, really. Yeah, everybody's like, how come you don't go in the camera? I'm like, I mean, he's, he's been in a couple of my cameras with, don't like... Don't have to be in the camera, honestly. I just... It's not my thing, you know? He's been in the camera with, uh, behind the scenes, like, with mm -hmm. me and Vicky. Madison. Madison. Jay Will. Jay Will. Mooney. More, more like peekaboos, like, jumping in and jumping out. Mm -hmm. You didn't want me and Mooney, too? I think so. I think there was a little, or, uh, uh, um... Um... Was it Mooney? I think it was his sip and paint, when he did his sip and paint. And I was helping him set up. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I don't think I filmed that though. We were we were putting the paper down or some shit. Mm -hmm. Well, if you if you have, so I mean, he, he he's more like peekaboo in and out or whatever. So this is like yeah, I actually first video, sure is. So hopefully maybe he'll do some more. I don't know, but um we'll see. But uh, I think this is kind of good to kind of know each other a little more better and stuff. Because Chris is like literally very nonchalant, like to himself kind of thing, but. I try my best to get him out and do things and stuff, but, you know. I'm like the grumpy old man that stays in the house. But at least you can have one of those friends who don't drink and don't smoke that's sober. Baby, when that's I get why I'm the driver. I'm the designated driver. When I get towed up, I can definitely count on somebody to drive and be like, hey, let's go. We got to go. We came here at this time, and we got to leave at this time. So, but yeah. So, we're going to leave it here. Yes. We can leave it here, you know. All right, y'all, so just like, comment, subscribe on this video. Thumbs up on it. Tell us what you think about it. Uh, what y'all want to see more, hear more. Nice comments, no mean comments. This, no, this was our no first video, so just, this was our first <clears throat> video together. So just kind of give us a little break. No perverted comments. Well, y'all know I don't care what y'all say, but that's Christopher. Not really either, but I just, you know, respect people. Be nice, be friendly. What's the point of being mean? mean. Why you gotta be mean or, or rude or- Cause like you don't get nowhere with it. in the fucking head, you know? <clears throat> Y'all can find Christopher on Instagram at. Oh damn! He don't know it's Six foot four. What made you pick that name anyway? Because I'm six foot four. Oh okay, that's kind of a good question. So six foot four, and his and his. Snapchat. Snapchat is. C Flores three twenty ninety seven. And how did you come up with that name? It's my name, Chris Flores. I was born oh. on March twentieth, nineteen ninety seven. Damn, I'm so slow. <laughs> Yeah, back with another channel. <laughs> back with another channel, y'all. We out. Peace. Boom.